Good morning, everyone. Today is Israel's Independence Day. And while Israel is 74 years young, it's over 3,000 years old. Matter of fact, the word Yisrael, the land of Israel, the letters of Yud, Shin, Resh, Aleph, Lamed, which are the five letters of Yisrael, the land of Israel, is an acronym for the three patriarchs and the four matriarchs. The Yud stands for Yitzchak and Yaakov, the Shin stands for Sarah, the Resh stands for Rivka and Rachel, the Aleph stands for Avraham, and the Lamed stands for Leah. The land of Israel, the land of Yisrael, is the land of our patriarchs and matriarchs going back over 3,000 years ago. And indeed, in this week's parsha, we actually find Israel and Jerusalem mentioned. The Torah says, when you have a field in the land of Israel, the first three years you should not eat its fruit. Which the Medrash says is because Adam, the first story in the Torah, he was told not to eat from the tree of knowledge, and he couldn't control himself and contain himself and violated the very first instruction by God. So till today in Israel, a Jew does not eat from the fruit for the first three years to rectify the sin of Adam and Eve. But then on the fourth year, you should take your fruit and eat it in Jerusalem and give praise to God in Jerusalem for your bountiful blessings. And then in the fifth year, the Torah says, you'll have blessings wherever you are, you could eat your fruit. And this is what the Torah is teaching us, that first and foremost, our hearts, our minds, our pr has to be directed towards thanking God and praising God. And that's why the Jew would go to Jerusalem. And therefore King David says, I shall r go up to Jerusalem at the height of my joy to give thanks to God. And that's why under every wedding ceremony it does not conclude before the groom breaks the glass. The reason for the breaking of the glass is to remember the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem because our hearts and our minds are always linked to the land of Israel and to Yerushalayim. Indeed, we finish the two holiest days of the year, Yom Kippur and the Passover Seder with the three words, L'Shana Haba, next year in Yerushalayim. And our generation miraculously lived and experienced the prophecies told to us thousands of years ago that God willing the Jewish people will return to the land of Israel as the famous prophecy of the dried bones of Ezekiel says I will open up your graves and I'll return you to your land and that's what happened after the Holocaust we came from the gas chambers from the crematoriums God opened up our graves and returned us to the land of Israel Rabbi Beryl Wine is an 88 year old great rabbi living in Israel He's a historian, he's a lecturer, he's an author, and a great rabbi. And he told the following story. He said he was born in Chicago. And he remembers when he was a 12-year-old boy, the yeshiva said to the boys that the chief rabbi of Israel, Rabbi Yitzchak Isaac Herzog, who's the grandfather of the current president of Israel, who's named after him, Isaac Herzog, the chief rabbi, who was the chief rabbi then in 1946, is coming to speak to the yeshiva. He's on a trip into Chicago, in Chicago. And he says, the rabbi walked in, very regal looking man, and he addressed 200 boys in the yeshiva. And he told them how he just came from Rome, from the Pope. And he said to the Pope, I have a list of thousands of names of Jewish kids who were hidden in monasteries and in orphanages and given over to Christian institutions to be hidden during the Holocaust. And I'm here to claim these children back and bring them back to the land of Israel where they belong because their parents perished in the gas chambers and the crematoriums. And he said to the boys, the Pope said to me, I cannot give you back these Jewish kids because they were baptized. And once a child is baptized, they're Christian and they have to remain Christian for the rest of their life. At that point, Rabbi Beryl Wine says, the Rabbi Israel, Yitzchak Isaac Herzl, the chief rabbi of Palestine at the time, began to weep. And he started to cry so uncontrollably that he put his head down on the lectern and was just sobbing and sobbing. He said he was a 12-year-old boy. He never saw a grown man cry, and it shook him to his core. And then the rabbi lifted his tear-filled eyes and said to the boys, I failed in bringing back these Jewish souls to Judaism. But you are the future. You are the Jewish children. And you should go on and live your lives to rebuild the Jewish people, to build Jewish homes, Jewish families, and devote yourself to rebuilding and rehabilitating the Jewish nation. And then he said, when the rabbi finished his speech, every boy went up to shake his hand. And Rabbi Israel Yitzchak Isaac Herzog, chief rabbi of Palestine, looked at little barrel wine, 12-year-old boy, and he shook his hand. He said, remember what I told you. 
devote your life to rebuilding the Jewish people. And he said, that inspired me to devote my life to becoming a rabbi and teaching Torah and strengthening Judaism and rebuilding the Jewish nation after the Holocaust. And in my, after I was able to serve as a rabbi in, in Miami Beach, I decided it's time to make Aliyah and join the Jewish nation in the land of Israel. This is the meaning of the land of Israel in this week's Torah portion and today in our modern times that we were re-gifted the opportunity to live in the land of Israel. This is our response to thousands of years of persecution that Am Yisrael Chai, the Jewish people, will live on and we will carry with us the lives and the memories of all the Jews who were murdered throughout the millenniums, throughout the centuries and we will live with them and for them in the land of Israel realizing their dream of Lishana Habab Yerushalayim, we will return to Jerusalem, we will return to the land of Israel, we will live the prophecies told to us by Ezekiel and Jeremiah and all the great prophets that our generation merited to experience the return to the land of Israel. Have a wonderful day.